Hi guys and welcome to our physics series. Today we have a specimen 2023 paper 4, question 9. Figure 9.1 shows a conducting ball that oscillates between two charged plates. As the ball oscillates, it touches each plate in turn. For part A, referring to the charge on the ball, explain why the ball moves to the positive plate after touching the negative plate. Here, look at the figure 9.1, the negative plate, so the negative or the electron is spread out over the surface of the negative plate. And let me say the other one, which is the positively charged, so the positive charge is spread out over the surface of the left, or the plate on the left. And as he mentioned in the question, that the ball is touching the negative plate so i draw the ball here so this is the thread or insulating thread and the ball is going to be in contact or directly touching the negative plate so it's going to be the negatively charged now if it is negative according to the simple law the first law here in the static electricity so it's going to repel the negative plate and directly moving or accelerating to the positive plate this is the direction of the oscillation as he said in the first line here, as the ball oscillates. And this one is going to be happened repeatedly. So I'm going to start my answer by saying the after touching. So this is the part one. What happened? So the ball here becomes net negatively charged. You can write negatively charged and it's okay. It's going to be accepted and no problem for this. I prefer to say that it's net negatively. Net, it means the submission of the electrons or the negative charges more than the number of the positive charges on the ball. Secondly, the negatively charged ball is going to do what? It's going to be attracted to the positive plate, as I said. So I have to write uh, attracted to the positive plate. If you want to say it's repelled the negative plate, it's okay. You'll get two marks here. One mark for the showing the sign on the charge itself after touching the negative plate. And the second one for saying the word, which is attracted. So you get here the two marks. For section B, state which particles the move where, uh, when there is a current and state the direction in which they move through the sensitive emitter. Okay, here, I'm going to make a mark on the negative terminal here. And the charges, they are able to move through the wire, the electrons, because they have less mass, as you're familiar with this, it's approximately 9.1 times 10 power by negative 31 kilograms. It's easily to be accelerated through the electric wire. And sometimes we name this kind of uh, flow of charges as an electronic current. The electrons, they go from the negative terminal here to the, if we complete this circuit as a one uh, complete circuit, there's no gap. And they go through the sensitive emitter like this. This is the track of the, or the path taken by the electrons. So the particles, they are electrons. And they go from, this is the left side, and they go to the right side. So the direction is from left to right. This question has two marks. One mark for the mentioning the type of electrons or the nature of the particles. And the second one for showing the direction exactly. For part C, for each complete oscillation of the ball moving between the plates, a charge of 8.5 times 10 power by negative 10 column, and the charge is simple by the Q. It's transferred from one plate to the other, this one due to contact or touching, as mentioned in the previous one, so section A. The frequency of the oscillation is 4 hertz, and the symbol of the frequency is F. Calculate the current shown on the sensitive emitter. Now, to calculate the current, there is only one formula link in there. I, which is the electric current, and the Q, which is the electric charge, divided by the time taken for the oscillation. Unfortunately, we then have the time taken. 
but the examiner give us the frequency of the oscillation. Frequency it means the number of oscillation, this one made by a vibrating object or the charged ball between the two plates, the negative and positive, and this one explained in section A and B as well. And this one happened in, uh, uh, in 4 hertz, means the full vibration in one second. So you get the time taken for uh, touching between the two plates to deliver the charges from the negative to positive. And this one happened repeatedly, as I said before. The time taken equals 1 over frequency. It's inversely proportional as a relation between the time taken and the frequency, which is 1 over f. To get the time taken, so 1 divided by 4, it gives us 0 0.245 seconds. Here we have the time taken and the Q from section C. I equals the Q, which is 8.5 times 10 part by negative 10, divided by the time taken, which is 0 0.25. It gives us the current, which is 3.4 times 10 power by negative 9, and the unit, which is ampere. Okay, to get the three marks, how can I mark my paper? Firstly, you show the examiner how can find out the time taken from the frequency. So you get one mark here. And for correct substitution, using the time the formula, linking the current and Q and the time taken, the I here, the correct substitution, one more mark. And finally, for the correct answer with the unit, one mark. Keep in your mind that they use two significant figures here, 3.4, similar to the two significant figures for the frequency, 4.0, and two significant figure for the charge. Here in this question, so you get the three marks. Thank you for watching.